Okay, dear class. Today, let us continue with the promotion of life skill. The promotion of life skill, what does it mean? What is life skill? Life skill are the means through which a person can live well in a society. When you are talking about life skill, in simple way you can say is the ability of a person to monitor his or herself in the daily routine. So, through doing that, that is a life skill. A person can be able to involve in a production, to involve in different things that could lead him or her to get the basic needs or the requirement of the human life. So, that skill is that you use to produce, that is what we call a life skill. So, in the simple way, then we can say, this is the way of one individual can properly manage his or her life and that of other people. That is what we call a life skill. The way to manage your life or to manage a life or of your fellow members, that ability of managing your life or your fellow members, that is what we call the life skills. The undergoing changes require a good leadership, teamwork, positive relationship, and etc. So, life skills all in all sometimes need leadership. It needs good leadership, teamwork, positive relationship through creating good relationship in a group or in the teamwork. You can improve your life skill as an individual or your life skill as a group. Through doing so, life skills will be positive and it will lead to the increase of production. Therefore, let us see what is good leadership and the function of good leadership. Before looking good leadership, there is a word a leader. Who is a leader? A leader is a person who, gui who guides and directs others in a certain group or institution or company, village or a country. A leader is a person who is elected or appointed from a certain group of people who are living together and sharing the same cultural practice and they are living under the same government. So, through doing that, people decide to elect a person who will guide them or who will read them, direct and others thing so that they can manage to produce and to increase the national economy or production of every individual. It can be in institution, company, village, or in a country. That is what we call a leader. So, leadership as the leadership is there to manage or to help a group of one individual or a country at large so that he or she can monitor the whole functions or activities that every day is conducted so that to produce or to create income either through individual person or citizens in general. So after looking at that, let us see the characteristics of good leadership. Characteristics of good leadership or features of good leadership. The first is a good leadership should be task oriented. Good leadership first should be task oriented. Task oriented this means a leader must be there to work positively and not negatively. So that 
if we, he, he or she is task oriented means this will improve and develop the economy of the country and the economy of each individual in the community or national at large. Second, a good leader should have confidence and determination. A good leader must have confidence and determination. This means a leader must be able to explain confidently the matter about the nation, the matter about the community, the matter about the individuals, person in the, in the community. And he should be confident also to make actions. He should not be biased. He should not fear anything. That is the characteristics of good leadership. A good leadership should be creative. Also, a leader must be creative so that he can initiate or he can introduce a new idea to the citizens. That idea could be changed or converted from the idea and to put it into practice of which it can lead to the development of a certain community or a certain individual person or a nation at large. That is one of the characteristics of good leadership. Also, a good leadership should be committed in their goals. A leader must be committed. Every day we see in the contest, during, the, during the campaign, the contester come up with the different views, come up with the different propagandas, they speaking what they will do after being elected. So the leader should commit them, he or she on the certain goal that after being erected, what he or she will done so that the country could develop or individual person could benefit the presence of that leader. Also point number five, good leadership should have integrate example. Integrate this means a leader should mean what he say. If he say that after being erected, he will come up with the, the provision of good service. This good service should be provided after being erected and not otherwise. So a good leader should have integrate. And he should integrate this means to fulfill all what he spoken before to being erected. So dear class, this was all about the characteristics of good leadership. So, even, he, even you also, you are a leader of tomorrow. Once you will be a leader, you should be trusted in your community. You should be trusted in your family and the whole nations. Everybody could trust you of what you are speaking. You should fulfill your responsibility. You should, be, you should not be biased. You should not be corrupt. So, after looking at this, let us see the importance of good leadership in the community. The first good leadership reduces conflict in the society. The good leadership is there to monitor and to solve the conflict that exists among the members of the community. Because as a good leader, must be polite, must be a problem solver in the community. That is what we say, the first, that to reduce conflict in the society is the functions of good leadership. The second, to increase the national economy. How the national economy can be the function of good leadership? The good leadership is there not to fear anything. Is there to produce, is there to give out the, the views, is there to give out the positive perspective of which those perspectives they were ready to the national economy to increase through correction of taxes, through providing loans to the businessman through providing education about business so that people can produce as much as they can and they can earn money so uh, that through that money that they earn, they pay tax. That, is, that tax is related to the development of the national economy or national income. To ensure good social service, a good leadership. If in any community there is a good leadership, the provision of social service will be sufficient, sufficient compared to the 
place where good leadership, good leadership is not there. So, good leadership ensure the presence of good services like school, health center, and the clean water or good water supplies. That is all the, fun the function or importance of good leadership. Point number four, to, to enhance people confidence. This also is the function of good leadership. Good leadership will encourage people or members of the, members of the community that any person should have confidence so that he can stand and speak what he feels to speak without breaking the rules of the government. So, through doing that, people will have confidence so that people, they can give out the, what they see, what they have, so that to contribute and to change the attitude or the interest of a few people in the community. That is point number four. Point number five is trust from the people. In trust from the people, this means that good leadership must, must behave better so that he can be trusted from the community around he or she or from the whole nations according to what he is doing in the community and is and the and the actions is is seen by everybody so through that that leader will be trusted with the whole members of the community or the whole majorities of the nations also after looking at the functions of good leadership my dear students let us see now the types of good leadership or types of leadership. Uh, we have different types of leadership. Leadership styles have been categorized on the basis of how the leaders use their authority. So according to the way how leaders use their authority, it is how the classification of this leadership is, it has been put. And they are, according to that, the types of leadership have been categorized in four types. The first point, Point is, or first types is dictatorial leadership. Dictatorial leadership, this is the types of leadership whereby all power have been put on the central power. And this is dictatorial leadership is characterized with the misuse of power. Example, you may refer to the dictatorial ship in, in, in Germany by Adolf Hitler and the Italy by Benito Mussolini, whereby those countries were under the leadership of those leaders whom controlled them through dictatorial power without listening views or ideas from the citizens or from the members of the parliament. Point number two is autocratic leadership. Autocratic leadership, this is the types of leadership whereby the actions of the government is left to the members of to the members of the country or is left to the to the majority people to come up with the, the solutions or to come up with the, the opinion their opinions so this is all about autocratic leadership whereby also we have point number three or type C number three which is democratic leadership Democratic leadership, this is a types of leadership whereby a leader is elected through general election by the majority people through voting. So whereby here every individual has a right to vote, to choose his or her respective leader to be ruled by him or her after election. Point number four is razor fair leadership. <coughs> razor fair leadership. This also is the types of leadership whereby all members of the government, all, all members of the, of the community, they have the rights to contribute or they have the rights to speak on the governments or they can even have a right to, to criticize the leadership or to criticize the members of the parliament or the whole system of of the government lead of the government so that they can change the attitude or what is, they can change the attitude or they can change the system so that to create or to form a new system of leadership that is what we call rather fair leadership so after looking at that my dear students 
let us see also we have the the, the so-called teamwork teamwork or team this is comprises comprises in a group of people with a common purpose or is the is the joint actions done by a group of people with a common goal that is what we call a teamwork teamwork is a group of people that has been formed with the different people with the different perspective with different ideas for the for the for the demands of for the demand of completing completing their actions okay my dear student let us continue with our session now let us look let us look at the aspect of teamwork a good and a strong leadership is essential for successful a good and a strong leadership is essential for successful so therefore any life skill there there is different aspects so here the aspects of teamwork one of them is a good leader, good leadership good is good and a strong leadership is essential for successful so a leader in the community is the is the, is the monitor of economic development so therefore through doing that the leader is very important for for the success of the community point number two goal setting is an essential part of teamwork so the teamworks are the group of people whom are working together for the purpose of changing their minds or changing of their attitude of change or changing the developments of individual or in other uh, group so their goals is it their goal setting is the part of the teamwork so teamwork as a teamwork is very important because is there to complete the goals of the group point number three communication is another important part of teamwork teamwork as a team team as a team as we have seen that team is a joint group of different people whom they have decided to 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 share their ideas in the single group so through doing that communication bring them together so that they can communicate the very important issues and the very important thing of which may lead to the change of their minds attitude toward development point number four teamwork teamwork must have complete member the teamwork must have complete member this means that the members of the group must have a specific number if it is 12 or 10 must have the specific number and they must be registered in a group so that to be identified or recognized for everybody as a member of a group also conflict resolution teamwork is there to solve the to solve the conflict if there is conflict among the members of group so team as a team will sit together and to discuss what is the problems and to know the way how they can solve a problem or if there is a problem that face they are members of group so they know how the way they can solve that problem either by giving opinions or advice or by contributing some amount of money if the problem is a financial problem so after looking at that aspect of teamwork it will see the importance of teamwork in the community or in our daily life the first is teamwork can make more efficient and efficient use of labor teamwork teamwork as a teamwork according to the way it is from it is formation it is so as a group they work together as laborers to ensure that they increase the production of goods or they work together to improve their skills from one mind of one person to the mind of one other person of other members of group so that they can change from one stage to another stage another point is teamwork improve quality and encourages teamwork improve quality if for the first time 
maybe the group had no quality of producing goods or of giving out an opinions with the important issues and important issues or positive thinking in the group now we see that it improved the quality and the encourage so how it encourages through making discussions through sitting together and changing of ideas automatically the quality and the encouragement in, and the innovation is the product of team work also it helps to build the spirit of winning mentality in any mission also teamwork help to change the, the the mind change to change the attitude of the of the members of the group so of which this led to the innovation of new technologies through thinking and using of their mental or mental skills in different missions so that they ensure that everything is going very well also teamwork help to simplify work in any institution in any institution as as people working as a team they find that a, a task that could maybe could spend 5 hours but through teamwork they simplify that work by using 2 hours or 1 hour because they are working as a group also Point number five: Teamwork encouraging unity and the solidarity. Teamwork encourage unity and the solidarity in the members of the group because as they are as they are sitting together as a unity, they have united so that they can share all ideas, they can solve problems, they can create a new thing in the group so that they can. So that they can create a new thing that will help in, the, in their development according to their goal oriented. After looking at that, dear class, let us look on the positive relationship. What is the positive relationship among the members in life skill or in their life? Positive relationship, this can be defined as a state of having meaning and love. Positive relationship, this is a good relationship that exists between one person and another person or one member of the group or one member of the group and another member or among, of, um, among the members of the, of the team. So, they create meaningful and they create love to each other so that they can share all the ideas. So, after looking at that, let us see the principle of positive relationship principle of positive relationship there is the inch of time and the patient they know how to manage time and the, and the patient so the first point time and the patient this is a principle of positive relationship through making positive relationship time and the patient is very important because losing time we, it, it is an indication of losing something which is having the value so this have been put at their principles so that they can manage, manage time in their daily life applying the principle of brotherhood applying the principle of brotherhood this means that the group learn from another group of which have been getting successful so through that group of gain, have gaining successful so even another group of the beings formed they learn through their brothers so that they can succeed through that channel. Point number three, every human behavior have social purpose. Every human behavior have social purpose. And the behaviors of the solidarity group or the behavior of a person in the, in the group have the social purpose because that behavior, if we will be positive, we relate to the positive change in the community of which the community will benefit from that ideas of an individual. So, dear class, after, before we wind up with our session, let us look at this question. With the examples, explain the function of good leadership. What is good leadership? As we have said before, good leadership is the situation or is the leadership, is the system of leadership 
whereby all major means of production, all, all things of a nation is managed very well so that you can develop or we can use them for the development of the nation. Example by providing social services, by building infrastructure, social services like school, health center, water supplies, that is what we call leadership. So with the example you will explain the function of leadership. Function of leadership or sometimes you can say the importance of, of good leadership. They will, you will explain it very well and they will give out the feedback. Thank you very much for listening. That is the market, the end of you.